Hi guys, um, welcome to today's lesson where we are going to spin up a Microsoft SQL Server um, Express RDS on uh, AWS and then we're going to log into that using um, Azure Data Studio which is just a free client that lets us log in. So let's get started and go to RDS on the console. So if we just type in RDS, once in and loaded, um, I'm going to work out of the Frankfurt region. We need to create a database, so just click create a database. We're going to do a standard create. We're going to do a Microsoft SQL Server. We'll keep it the Express Edition just to keep things on the on the low side of the price point, if not in the free tier. We'll use the 2017 Dev and Test. Give your database an identifier. I'm going to call it Demo. Credentials, so leave it as admin and then type in a password that you're not going to forget. So I'm just going to type in something that I'm not going to forget, hopefully. Perfect. We'll just leave it on the burstable class micro. Again, it'll take a wee minute to spin up, but um, but that'll be fine. General purpose, allocated storage, all the defaults. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is create a new VPC uh, for this launch. Then we go into additional uh, additional configuration. Click on um, some network. Click on publicly accessible. Set that to yes. We can't use an existing uh, VPC security group um, because uh, it's a new VPC, so one will be created. Availability zone, we'll do no preferences. Leave the port in 14.3.3. That's the default port for, uh, SQL, for SQL, so just leave it like that. That's fine. Uh, rough cost is $20 a month. Uh, we're responsible for third-party products. Perfect. Create database. Okay, that's the database often creating. This can take up to 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I'm just going to pause the video here and then we'll pick it up uh, once it's created. Okay, and if you just keep refreshing, as you can see, it becomes available. Um, that took about 10 minutes in total. So the next thing we need is a client that will let us um, log into this instance. So if we just go into... Um, the link at the bottom there. Uh, I recommend using the Azure Data Data Studio client. Um, there's a Windows, Mac, and Linux version. So just download the one, load the one that's relevant to you. I'm on Mac, so I'll download the Mac one. It takes a few seconds to download, and what this will let us do is actually connect in to the um, the database that we've just created. Yep. So that's a created. Double click at the open, and then just accept all the preferences as you go through. Okay. And once you have um, Azure Data Studio installed, it looks something like that. Back onto the console now, uh, in demo again, if we go over and stay in configuration, you, or sorry, if we go back into um, into our security, you can see that we have a VPC security group. And what we need to do is click into that security group and we need to change the inbound rules. So down the bottom, inbound rules, edit the inbound rules. So currently it's allowing all traffic, but just from a custom port range, which is inside our security group. So what we're going to do for simplicity is just allow this all. If you know the IP address of your computer, you can make it as uh, uh, the IP address is your computer. But for the purposes of the demo, I'm just going to leave it all. You want to save those rules. And that means then that we can actually connect in. So the next stage is that we need to go back to demo. And we need to... Oh, let's step back one more time. Back to demo. Uh, keep on the security. And you can see that we have the endpoint name. So let's copy that endpoint name while we're here now. Then the next thing we need to do is go back into Data Studio. We want to create a new connection. Server is the endpoint name that we just used. Our username is admin because uh, we left it as the default. So if you've changed it, put in your change one. Password is the password that you gave it a couple of minutes ago. We don't have a database yet. And then we're just going to call this demo. And let's hit connect. And there we go. We are in. So there's currently no databases in demo. So let's do the first thing and let's uh, well, sorry, there's your master database and your temp database, but there's no uh, there's no databases that we've created yet. So the first thing we're going to do is a new query. We'll keep it in the master and we'll create database, create database, and let's give the database a name of demo. And we run that. And you'll see it was completed successfully. So if I now I click on the top left, inside demo, we have a database called, hopefully, demo. So let's then click on that and create a new query. And let's just really quickly create a table and follow along if you don't want any SQL. So I'm going to keep this in capitals. Create 
create table. And let's go for the good old person table. Person. And let's give it a first name of varchar 100 100 and last name of varchar 100 and let's create that table by highlighting it and running and you can see that table should be created so if you go back over and you click on tables we have a person table let's click on that person table and just double check that the columns are present first name last name put in a new statement so let's just put a go in so you can see the separation and we're going to write an insert statement so insert uh, into person dbo dot person values I'm just going to put some brackets in there first name if you don't want to type this out you can copy it from above first name last name values John comma Doe. oh and again make sure that's in quotes so if you highlight the text this time don't rerun the top bit and click run we've inserted one row if we go over to the person if we then take another new line and we type in select star from person highlight that and run it you can see that we have John Doe so that's it that's how you set up a uh, AWS uh, MySQL instance in RDS log into it and then create a database create a table and insert your first row of data. Um, I'll, as usual, I'll make all this information free on my website, www.johnnychevers.co.uk. And until next time, thanks for watching.